Hey everybody, this is Nojo from Thranda Design. For those of you who just finished watching the takeoff and taxi tutorial for the de Havilland Beaver and are now flying around wondering how to land, then this will be the video for you. We're going to look at two techniques of landing the beaver. Uh, for this one, since we're landing at Fish Lake, Idaho, which is a dirt strip, we've got big tundra tires on. Also, I have the belly tank because we're kind of far out here. So uh, that's quite a bit of drag for the beaver, so it means we might be a little bit slower than it otherwise would be. Uh, definitely not as slow as uh, a beaver would be on floats, but uh, you'll see that later. So, uh, I'm in the white arc, I've been descending. Uh, we're going to kind of do this weird sweeping approach. This is kind of a very non-standard traffic pattern. But basically we're looking for 90 miles per hour on downwind or so, slowing to 80 on final. I'm keeping it a little bit faster because I want to be maneuvering as we do this. Now the two main landing techniques, a wheel landing and three-point landing. So wheel landing, when we just touch down on the mains, or three-point landing is more of a short field technique. So I'll try to demonstrate both of those. You might notice a little cut in the video here. I'm, I'm sure I'll get the landing correct the first time, but uh, there's gonna be a cut just in case. So for our wheel landing, on final approach, we're looking for about 80 miles per hour. So I'm a little slow, I'm gonna let that nose come down and uh, usually about 16 inches of manifold pressure or so at landing flaps will give you about 80 miles per hour. So that's looking pretty good. Now, we're gonna try to touch down just on the main gear. So as we come here below the trees, pulling the power back gently, we're just gonna fly right along next to the runway. Let's see if I can do this. So let it touch down just gently on the mains. There it is, power to idle. And you can see the tailwheel's still up, so this is, that's why it's called a wheel landing and we'll let that tail come down. And now once the tail is down, we're just holding full back on the yoke to keep it planted there. So there we go. And then gentle on the brakes, we'll come to a stop. So that is our wheel landing technique. All right, now for the three-point landing, this is more of a short field landing technique. We're looking for 65 to 68 miles per hour on final. We're pretty light, so 65 is about what I want. Uh, it's a little bit fast, but we're coming down, so that'll work out. So we have full landing flaps. I'm just gonna scoot my view over here. And what we wanna do is come down next to the runway, pull the power to idle, and instead of touching down just on the mains, we're gonna touch down at a higher pitch attitude, uh, touch down on all three. So let's see how this works. Okay, power comes to idle, nose comes up, bonk, <laughs> nailed it. All right, and then uh, braking as needed and we'll come to a stop. That's kind of our short field technique. And make sure, uh, as they say, the landing only is complete once you come to a stop. Make sure you're still working those rudder pedals, otherwise it's possible to ground loop the plane. So one thing I didn't mention with the landing flaps, so the landing position is 50 degrees of deflection, but the flaps actually can go past. They have 58 is the maximum, but that's only allowed for emergencies. The POH speci uh, specifies that. And here you can see a placard, use of flap settings greater than landing is not permitted. So while they will go further, uh, they're not allowed to. So I hope you enjoyed that look at uh, landing the beaver both techniques of wheel landing as well as the three-point landing. It's a great challenge, especially on a short field. Uh, a lot of fun. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, gonna move the view to the side. Hold it off, oops, oh. Uh, power comes to idle, scoot my view over. Oops, ah, I touched a little too early. <laughs>
Ups.